You must be one question away, one question from six figures. Better questions are the key to your next quantum leap in your life as a digital nomad and online entrepreneur. Here's the 10 that help me get there and will help you, you, get there faster. We'll go from softer questions to more powerful ones. At the end, I will share my favorite, the one that's gonna transform you the most. How you can trade money for... What are the worst things that could happen? Could I get back here? That's a great question when you wanna start, for example, a new source of income. That's how I started my first online company. I thought, I can always go back to selling running shoes and probably get a better job with the experience that I got as an entrepreneur that I can now prove in my resume. That's how I started traveling the world because I can always go back to my parents' home. That's how I approached the smart and gorgeous women that I had the pleasure to date. Worst case scenario, I get a no, but I get 1% more confident for the next approach. As Julia Cameron shares in her extraordinary book, it's never too late to begin again. In order to move into new territory, we must dismantle the ego's need for perfection. We must be willing to have humility. Humility grants us the grace to be a beginner. Humility grants us the courage to take the first small step, which will lead to the step after that. Are you hunting antelope or field mice? Newt Gingrich uses a brilliant, brilliant illustration to explain the need to focus on the big things and let the little stuff slide. The analogy of the field mice and the antelope. A lion is fully capable of capturing, killing and eating a field mouse. But it turns out that the energy required to do so exceeds the calorie content of the mouse itself. A lion can't live on field mice. A lion needs antelope. Antelopes are big animals. They take more speed and strength to capture and kill and once killed they provide a feast for the lion and her pride. A lion can live a long and happy life on a diet of antelope. The distinction is important, is essential. Are you spending all your time and exhausting all your energy hunting field mice? In the short term, it might give you a nice, rewarding feeling, yeah. But in the long run, you and your business are going to die. So ask yourself at the end of each day, did I spend today chasing mice or hunting antelope? Look at your to-do list and ask which one of those, if done, would rent all the rest easier or completely irrelevant? What would you do have B if you had $10 million. Some people say, I would travel the world, I would open a school, great, 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 great. After traveling the world seven times and the deserved celebration with all your friends and family, plus gifts and donations for everybody, da, 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 you still have decades in front of you. You don't have to work for money anymore. What do you do? Another way of phrasing it is, what's an infinite game you could play forever? If you could only work two hours per week in your business, what would you do? Yes, I know it can be hypothetical, but if I had a gun to my head or I contracted some horrible disease and I had to limit my work to two hours per week, what would I do to keep things afloat? This question helped me delegate. I thought, well, I have the limiting disease, but people who work with me don't have it. They can work more than two hours per week. And boom, who, not, how, teaming up. This is the key. I got a virtual assistant and that changed my life. Read Tim Ferriss on that or in my book, Travel Without Working. Because it's not just hiring, but how to train your virtual assistant, your VA, to be super effective. What if I couldn't pitch my product directly. Listen closely. People don't like to be sold, but people love to buy. 
Another way to put it, people don't like being sold products, but they love being told stories. Work on the latter. Create a friendly, non-friction, win-win buying environment. I went from this guy trying to figure things out to the one that it's talking to you now. I did so by being generous and keeping the benefits of my clients and friends in mind. Give, 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 and then offer. Never force sell. What if I could only subtract to solve problems? As a Catalan entrepreneur paying taxes in Spain, España, at the beginning of my entrepreneurship career, the more money I made, the more taxes I had to pay. The year I made over six figures, I had to pay 52%, 52% in taxes, the highest tier you can pay as a freelancer and autonomous. Make the calculations, how much money is that? I thought, if I keep making more money, I will keep working for the government six months a year. How can I reduce taxes before focusing on making more? I moved my tax residency to Cyprus and I paid less than 3% taxes and now I'm moving my tax residency to an even better nation in which I'm paying 0% in taxes. 0%. And now I teach all the digital nomads how to do this. And I live off investments, staying, traveling the world, going from smart location to smart location. High quality of life with a really affordable cost of living as a digital nomad. Saving taxes, live in smart locations first, and then you will focus on making more money. Remember, it's not how much you make, it's how much you keep that matters. If you want to learn all this strategy on tax optimization and living in smart locations, the best smart locations I found in the world, I have full chapters dedicated to those topics in my book, Travel Without Working. You can check it out down below. What might I put in place to allow me to go off grid for four to eight weeks, no phone, earn no email? Can you go on vacations for four to eight weeks? What would happen to your business? Would you keep making money? That's the ultimate freedom. Not being location independent, yeah, I'm a digital nomad, woo, yeah, yeah. But having to work eight, 10, 14 hours a day to pay the bills every month. To entrepreneurs who are feeling burned out, this is also a great question to ask. What should you put in place to go off grid for four to eight weeks? No phone, no email. Two weeks isn't enough as you can let fires erupt and then attempt to repair things when you return. Four to eight weeks or more doesn't allow you to be a firefighter. It forces you to put systems and policies in place, automate procedures, build a competent team and create a machine that doesn't require you to be behind the driver's wheel 24 seven. Work on your business, not in your business, as Michael Gerber might say. What would happen if you double your rates? You may lose half of the clients, but you'll make the same money working 50% less. This is easier said than done. To do that, I needed the help of a mentor, actually several mentors, because I didn't believe it was possible or how to do it. In 2018, I sold my first online course and I was afraid, oof, panicked to pitch my offer at 36 euros. Who will pay 36 euros to a random guy in the internet they are following? My mentor told me, do it, it's possible. With a 45 minute improvised Instagram live, I sold 73 courses in 24 hours. My mentor pushed me to sell my next course at 97 euros. And I said, oh no, 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 oh no, 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 no. Man, that's too much. I'm gonna sell it at 67. I bargained my mentor, he said, okay. And I sold 96 courses in five days. My mentor pushed me to sell a premium product for 500 euros. And I was like, this guy is crazy. This <laughs> is absolutely crazy. Until the thing got worse. He told me, you're gonna sell it and then you're gonna create it. What? How am I gonna sell nothing? The thin air? Well, we prepared a marketing campaign and 20 sales in 10 days. The rest is history. 1,000 euro products, 6,000 euro products, and then the pinnacle, three sessions with me, one hour sessions for $18,000, so it's $6,000 an hour. Oh, you got lucky, Mikel. Well, I didn't have one client for this program, but actually, too, and it is replicable. What I want to express here is that this is possible. 
you can also do it. For example, in my case, it took me two years for all this process, but with mentors, boom, I went much, much, much quicker. In case somebody, you need to hear this, you have my permission to ask and get paid for your work, period. How to do it? If you want to learn it with me, you can grab a copy. I include the exact script that I used to close these 18,000 clients. You will know exactly how to approach, how to frame the conversation so you can get these high ticket clients that don't bargain the price of your services with you. You can get all that for the price of a dinner, grabbing a copy here down below. Check it out at the end of the video if you want. What if you could make money without having to sell? I hate the mental image of the person who calls you in the middle of the day. No, no, I'm not. No, thank you. No, not interested. No, bye. Yeah, say bye to offer you something that you are not even interested in. What if you could get sales for your business without having to call, sell, or pitch your product or service? That's possible online. You can have products making you money 24 seven. It's not easy. You have to be strategic. Otherwise you'll be wasting your time and energy and even money creating something that then nobody wants to buy. Otherwise, you'll spend months or years of your life creating something that nobody wants to buy. Wasted time, wasted energy, wasted money. Learn from my errors, learn from my successes, and go directly to what works. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. Here's how it looks making money in automatic. What if you could make more money investing without working than working full time? Time. I know this question can blow your mind, it blew my mind at first as well, but it was the key for me to become an investor nomad. What if I could put three monthly salaries into crypto investing and in three, six, 12 months, double it? After months of thinking about it and watching the crypto market from the shore, I got inspired by some crypto investors sharing their results. I gave it a try, it took some time and luck because nobody can predict the future market prices and it happened i doubled my investment i read books on crypto trading and investing i learned about dca the best investment strategy by far which is paradoxically fully automated and doesn't require you to look at the charts every day i also lost money learning but eventually in october november 2021 the crypto market Woo! exploded and I made 36 average salaries in one month. That's around three years of full-time traveling experiences covered. And I never ever made that much money in a single month working full-time, not even the moments of my life that I was working 14 to 16 hours a day. The compound interest is real. Yes, you can make more money without working with an automated investing system than working full-time. Buy and create assets, that's the secret. Bonus, how can you trade money for time? One of Dan Sullivan's sayings is, if you've got enough money to solve the problem, you don't have the problem. At the beginning of your career, you spend time earning money. Once you hit the stride in any capacity, you should spend money earning time, as the latter is non-renewable. Be sure to look for simple solutions. If the answer isn't simple, it's probably not the answer. Thanks for watching until here. I appreciate you. Don't subscribe unless you loved this video. Check out the next one where I share the worst five mistakes entrepreneurs make. What they are doing that prevents them to make six figures. What you learned this video with the next one combined? I'll see you there. Be extraordinary.